Hey y'all, I wanted to share a quick design tip that we've been using to better collaborate with our clients when it comes to ideation. So a lot of times when we're in the sketching phase of the work, we're working with clients to create new concepts and we wanna take their concepts and then bring them to life. And I love to do this within Figma. A lot of the times I'll actually work with the client in Figma, I'll take them into a design file and then I'll actually be modifying things. And one of the greatest lessons that I've learned around this is it helps to make the design feel sacrificial where their input is actually going to alter the design. And so they feel more a part of the process and more willing to contribute. And this is something we do in design research with participants. Uh, we wanna make sure the designs feel sacrificial especially when we're in this ideation and concepting phase. One of the issues though with working in Figma is that we're working within the grid system. So there's a lot of restrictions that are to be had. We're using a lot of old conventions. And also once I have auto layout set up and I make a modification and you know how it happens, it might break. It sometimes makes it so the client has the inverse reaction where they find that the design is so precious that they don't wanna provide any input. And that's definitely not a situation that we wanna be, especially when we're so early in the design phase. So with that, uh, a new technique we've been using is to use the iPad and FigJam along with the desktop app. So having the clients in a Zoom meeting, looking at the desktop app for FigJam, and then I have FigJam available. And you can see here on the FigJam app, I have it exactly the same that I have here uh, on the screen. And then in the FigJam app, I'm able to do such things like moving around. And then so you can see whenever I'm moving on here, I can have them following along while I'm just doing controls on the iPad. And I've brought in a few elements here um, that are different use cases that we use. So one of them, of course, is with UI design, we're able to do different redlining techniques with the clients. So let's say for this, I want to maybe, let's say let's update this photo. We can add notes. We can also add some different visual changes. So let's increase the size of that. Um, let's potentially add a border to this. And so we can sketch uh, on the iPad while the client is watching along on the desktop. And so this is a really great way to do red lines and make it so things are freehand. So the changes don't feel too precious, uh, but we're still being sacrificial with the content. Other instances of where this is really useful is when we're doing, let's say a customer journey map. So let's say we're designing a reusable bag system similar to how we did recently with IDEA with the Beyond the Bag Challenge. So with this, we can actually sketch out the scenario and rather than relying on Unsplash and other stock photos, we can actually just be drawing it in the moment. So let's say awareness, right? The uh, user arrives at the store and they've forgotten their bags. Uh, then they arrive in the store at the kiosk that has the bags. So you can see how we might be able to draw the scenarios here um, and then just really quickly sketch them. And then afterwards, uh, once we've collaborated with the client and we've aligned on the user story, then we can go and we can source our different images. Now, the final use case I wanted to show was with different um, product design ideas. And so with this, let's say I wanted to modify this image here. I can actually, I like to switch between my keyboard and mouse and the iPad, and then uh, I can copy and paste this over here. And let's say I wanted to draw a quick underlay. So let me go ahead and do that in purple. So I wanted to just draw a super quick underlay of the kiosk here. There we go. And then I can go ahead and delete this and now I can start modifying it on here. So let me go ahead and change some of the design elements. So let's say I wanted to modify the opening, right? We heard from users that this was a little bit too small of an opening for grabbing the bag. So you can see I can draw in perspective, I can widen things like that, which this is a relatively easy thing to do in Figma. But then if I wanted to do something more organic, right? That's a little bit harder to do. If I wanted to maybe bring this uh, circle here and make some modifications, I can be talking through these kind of different ideas while working with the client and while they're watching here in FigJam. And so I found this to be a really great process, a really great way to work with the clients and uh, have them together in FigJam. So I personally found this to be a great way to work with clients when we're working on still the open-ended side of the ideation process. We're not necessarily in the final design, so we don't want to be constrained by the limitations of Figma, but we want to have the flexibility to create new ideas and brainstorm. And I found this to be a great process where traditionally, you know, we would be working with Post-its and Sharpies and we would be in a room where we have our board up, we have our different concepts and we're kind of playing around in that space together. 
this kind of brings some of that energy in. And especially if your other team members are proficient with an Apple Pencil and an iPad, they can also join in. And this can be a great way to do group sketching together as well. So it's some principles of the design process of wanting to sketch and keep things freehand and not let the tools dictate you. This is a great solution for collaborating with clients in that way of making the clients feel like they're in the early parts of the process so that they're still able to contribute a lot. And then you kind of have a lot more of these decisions and these creative decisions made earlier in the process rather than waiting until you get into your high fidelity prototype and getting feedback in those moments. So hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this. I'd be happy to make more of them. Awesome, thank you all.